Look at her hand. Oh, man, a tenantolium big enough. Come on, right here, right? There, oh, there, yes. There she comes. Yes, 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 yes. You grabbing her? Yeah, sure. That right there. That fish makes the whole trip for me. Clayton, can you tell the people at home what's been going on the last couple days? Oh, nothing. Oh, like as in like what we're doing or what we've caught? What we've caught. Um, I caught a fish, but you don't even see it on Jay's video because he was uh, late to the party. Uh, I didn't catch a fish yesterday. Still no video on my channel. Don't go there. But today is the day I put a monster on the ice. Um, yeah, it's been, what would you say, Clayton, a grind the last couple days? Oh, don't use that word. Um, weather has been absolutely Jesus, phenomenal. Some of the best weather I've ever had on an ice fishing trip, but we're out here. Um, we've chummed this area pretty hard the last couple days. If we don't get bit by probably 10 or 11, I think we're gonna get out of here and uh, check some new spots. But there are lake trout on the camera. They've been swimming around. I got some lines set. We got an earlier start today, so hopefully that helps. Um, but should be another good one. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Eat it. Oh, he wants it. This one's gonna eat. Is that fish gonna eat it? Yes, finally. We are hooked up with our first trout of the morning. That took a bit. They were just circling and circling and circling and kicking up dust and poking at my bait. But finally we got a trout on the line. Not big, but like I said, the activity is so much different today. This is feeling very, even though it's the same spot we've been fishing for trout the last two days, they are acting very different. It's actually bigger than I thought. It's gonna jump right out of here. And there you have it. Oh, he's burping. Cute little guy right there. That is, uh, if we were eating trout, that would be perfect. One last look at this baby trout. He's bleeding, we're gonna get him back right away. That is a sign of things to come. Nice, little swim bait head with a fluke and a chunk of sucker belly. You cannot go wrong, like sucker belly is a staple for big old Lakers. Yes, I got him, I got him, big fish. Clean's on, big fish, big fish. Chick, everybody, give him a round of applause, guys. Clayton just caught a monster. A monster. I shared a little bit of the slow mo with you, but you'll want to see the full catch for the real excitement. Make sure to go check out his channel, check out this video. It's a big fish, you're gonna want to see it. Clayton's got underwater footage, he's got hook set footage, he's got us screaming. I helped land it. It was good, so good. Day made. I'm gonna keep fishing because now. I want one of those, because that was a prehistoric beast, an Athapap monster. So, life is good, fish are biting, that is why we waited out here for three days. And the day is young, so here we go. Thousands of tears later. Our bit, oh there's a trout. Come on, come on, it's been a tough day, give me this one. Oh, he tried to hit it. Yes, yes! We were recording, we were recording! I credit this fish to Clayton Schick. Clayton said, Jay, you need to move from where you're fishing. And I said, okay. Guys, after nothing all day, this feels pretty good. The day was already made by Clayton's Giant, as you saw glimpses of. But I'll be honest, I was having a slower day. Oh, 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 oh. I looked down the hole and I saw the jig stuck to the side and I saw the fish blow a bunch of bubbles and then go down. Unreal. I'm not very good at fishing. Guys, I haven't given you much of any updates, but uh, I've had a little bit of a slower day. Um, me losing that trout was kind of an indication of how my day has gone, but 
Ice fishing is a team sport and Clayton caught a monzi or a monster, a giant. Clayton breaks down the different adjectives for big fish in his video and he catches the big fish in his video. So you'll want to check that out. We're pretty much done for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, this video's not done though. I'm going to include whatever is caught tomorrow because today was weak and I know you guys want to see fish. So we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow it's going to happen. Sled is purring, sun is shining. Welcome back for the second part of this adventure. It's more like part four, but Clay and I are switching up species. We're going for pike today. The creeks are starting to melt. There's some flow. We're hoping the pike are gonna be staging for their spring spawn, which is gonna be probably like in a month from now. But uh, we're gonna go soak some dead baits and hopefully get some big toothy gators. There's Clayton Chick. Here's our friends Brittany and Joe. They're the ones who led us to this spot. And uh, we're pike fishing. We're drilling holes mouth of a spawning creek where the pike are hopefully going to be staging. And this is a big flat. It sticks out pretty shallow for pretty far. I'm in four feet of water. I drilled two holes here. I was using the aqua view. And since I knew there's a lot of reeds, I didn't want to put my tip up bait right in the middle of the reeds. So I found where that line was or that edge. Pulled a little bit further out so the pike can't swim into it. And that's where I'm going to set my main tip up, the one with the camera that I'll be sitting there. And then I'll set another one probably a little bit deeper. Um, but I think I'm gonna pull the big rod out. If you saw it in previous videos, I still wanna catch a fish with it. You cannot beat a big hunk of meat for pike at this time of year. All right, line number one is set. Aquaview's recording. Um, our buddy Joe over there just had a flag. It was big and it got off unfortunately, but a good sign considering he didn't even finish second, setting his second flag yet, so. It's good. It's gonna be plus 10 today, which is absolutely phenomenal. Nothing else will get a good tan. We got a flag, we got a flag, we got a flag. I was far away, but now I'm here. I'm out of breath. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, she's peeling line. Oh baby. Oh, she's screaming. Oh baby. I just need to take a second. A little extra line so I can check my drag. And we're gonna hit it. It's... Oh. I don't think it's there. Unless it's coming towards me. Oh, it's got some weight. Oh, oh, this might not be small. How big a bait do you have? Uh, not a big bait. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a big fish. Yeah. How big a bait are you using? Not big. Not big? She's unwrapping. Because I'm nervous. I have not caught that many big pike through the ice. So this. Have this you caught big. any big fish through the ice this year? No, not this year. This is my first big fish through the ice this year. Oh, that's, that's a fatty. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's big. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, guys, on the rod is so much better than hand lining it. Let's look at her head. Oh, man, a 10 inch only big enough. Come on, right here, right? There, oh, there yes. There she comes. Yes, 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 yes. You grabbing her? Yeah, sure. Oh, my. Goodness, look at this fish. Oh, look at that. That right there. That fish makes the whole trip for me. That is a hog. We're gonna hold it in the water. We're gonna get those hooks out. Guys, that is it. That is how I'm ending my ice fishing season with this fish. Holy smokes. Yes. What do we got? That is the Manitoba Master Angler right there, just over 41. It's almost four, it's 41 and three quarters, Jason. 41 almost and three 40, quarters, show me. Almost 42. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is, that, that's a monster. All day, 20 pounds, maybe close. Yes. I don't know. Oh, it's for sure. It's fat, all right. Okay, guys, this fish is healthy. You can see how fat and perfect it is. We're gonna give you a quick look and go right back with this cold, cold water. These pike are so ready to go shallow. So here we go. One last look. That is a Manitoba master angler right there. Fat, slob, first flag of the day. That is a 10 inch hole. Oh my goodness. This fish is strong. Oh, yes! Man, this has been a little slower fishing for me this trip, but right there, that is why you stick it out. You might not be fishing for numbers, but if you want a big bite, Baker's and Arrows, Northern Manitoba, my buddy Clayton Schick, right here yeah, on the assist. Boom. 
Thanks to Joe and Brittany for bringing us out. Unreal. So good. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, that's it. Clayton got the big trout yesterday. I got a big pike today. Unreal. Oh man. It's good. It's like, like Jay said, it's Baker's Narrows, not just lake trout, pike. So many lakes to fish, bourbon. so much. Like we've just scratched Walleye. the surface on it. Clayton ran over when he saw the flag go up, because I was further away and he had the bump board, the release tools, everything, and that is so key to just get that fish back as quick as possible. No blood, healthy. Gotta take care of it. Gotta take care of the fish, plain and simple. That fish is gonna get caught again sometime, and he's gonna be 45 next. So good! We got another flag! I was just celebrating after the first fish, hanging out, taking a minute, a breather. This one is the one at the underwater camp. This is the big rod, guys. This is it. Oh yeah. Never under gear yourself. So I like to bring an eight foot straight bass rod with me on all my ice fishing trips. It's just screaming line. Oh, yup. <laughs> Look at this rod. I guess I'm gonna have to land this one for you. Clay told me I need to beef up my gear, so we got the big rod. But I think this fish swam into the weeds. He's definitely still on there. This is not what I intended. We can just pull on it really hard and potentially break the line. Shouldn't break the line. That's like what, 40, 50 pound cast? 65? Oh yeah, it'll cut through the reeds. Got some movement there. Oh, oh, Careful oh. Lines, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Well, we got some movement. Oh, the fish is still on, this is ridiculous. Oh, what's out? That pop, good, that's good. Oh, real, real. No, oh, yeah, okay, we keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, sorry. I think we still have a fish on there. This is incredible. Oh, I think it's a decent fish. It's a little bit slower than the other one. That's nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, Easy. Don't horse it, don't horse it, don't horse it, don't horse it. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. That's the rod to the work. All right, Clay, I'm, great. I'm grabbing the camera. <laughs> yeah. I gotta grab this side, the hook's right there. Talk to me. Okay, I got it out. I had a trouble with my finger. Clayton had go. a hook, he took a hook for me. Right there, number two. That is, uh, <laughs> that's insane. That's nice that fish. is insane. Clayton on the assist. Clayton has grabbed more big pike yeah, than pretty much anybody in the existence of fishermen. <laughs> so there's no one I would rather have landing my pike for me. Oh, buddy. Buddy, just put him right back. Yeah, I'm gonna lift her out and put her back down. Done. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> that's, that was, that was, that's so funny. You I've been, had uh, more action for yourself in the last five minutes than you did the whole trip. The whole trip, that is, that's how quick things can turn around. I'm not gonna lie, there are some lulls where you feel discouraged, but when you're fishing in the north, you're fishing for big bites, and that's- you don't always need big bait for big fish. That's like a quarter of the size of my baits. Right <laughs> yeah, I know, Clayton's, Clayton's going big. I tried small and it worked, but I, it, that right there made my day. I'm gonna show you guys a little more in depth what I'm using. I can't wait to see the underwater strike. Big rod, which I was wanting to catch a fish on all trip. I'm out of breath. I'm taking like a 15 minute power nap now. Oh. That was, as you can see, this flag is still up and the other flag is still up. That's how quick it happened. That was five minutes apart. I caught that big one, went to talk to Joe and Brittany, and then this other one went up. Oh. Life is good, plus 10. Man, I know that my videos sometimes don't have big fish, sometimes not many fish at all, but it is nice when they do have big fish. But I'm gonna show you the days where they don't have big fish. But today's not one of those days. I'm gonna to a master angler. I'm gonna use the app, I'm gonna send that in. And we got like six more hours of light, so hopefully Clayton gets some flags flying. And I'm gonna keep working on my tan. Life's good. Manitoba, you gotta be barbless, and, and some people have a tough time with that. But I will tell you, when you have two treble hooks way down the yap of a pike, you're so thankful when it's barbless. 
when you have a hook in your hand and you have to pull it out, you're so thankful it's barbless. You really do not lose that many fish. Maybe the odd bass that jumps, but I think people are surprised when they go barbless how few fish they lose and it's way easier to release them. That pike swam away so healthy and it's gonna be caught again one day. And that makes me feel good because for how much joy that brought me, if I can give someone else that same joy by releasing that fish, that's everything. So that's why you catch and release barbless hooks. Well, they say big baits, big fish, but along with that, big rods for big fish. You don't want to be underpowered. There's nothing worse than catching a big fish with a 24 inch pan fish rod and you're trying to battle a big pike. It does happen sometimes, but if you're targeting big pike, prepare yourself. I went overboard with this eight and a half foot rod, eight foot rod and 65 pound braid, but in that thick, heavy reeds that that fish got hooked in, I don't think I would have landed it with anything lighter. So heavy paid off, a little bit goofy, I know, I had it along on my striped bass strip and it didn't do too much for me. So now finally put it to use. We're gonna get back down. Now the flag on the big rod. I'm gonna hit this one quick because there's reeds close by. Oh! Oh! Maybe I should have had more of a sweeping hook set. Oh! That hurt. It's a bounce because I wanted to hit it as quick as possible before it got to the reeds. But maybe it didn't have it in its mouth. Oh! I don't know why my flakes keep flying. I don't deserve it, but I'll take it. Oh, it worked. He's moving. The stomp did it. Small, very, oh, it feels small. It is small. Come up, come up backwards. backwards. <laughs> Have you ever tailed a pipe before? Yeah. There we go. I can't say I've seen a pike come up backwards like that. Man. All right, here she is. She devoured that bait. It has a bit of a lump in its belly. A little short, stout, actually not that short, probably 35, 36 inches. <laughs> not bad. And um, that's what March pike should look like right there. And I think she's gonna go pretty good. We were pretty quick with her. I, I don't know why my flags are flying, but uh, keep it going. We're, we're running out of bait. I'm using strip belly over there, sucker belly, and this is our last Cisco, so. Okay, everybody's bored. Everybody's bored with you, Jay. Enough about you, enough about your pike. You can talk to the camera later by yourself, by your sled. Here you go. My spoon, I honestly, Jay, I wasn't gonna say anything. I was gonna wait till you got back to Kenora and I was gonna say, um, Really, you got away with like one of my favorite spoons of all time that I've never even used. Well, Clayton's ice fishing season isn't over, oh. so he will keep the jig. That is a wrap for me. I've got a 10 hour drive back to Nora now. I'm calling it a trip, ending it on an amazing high note. Pike fishing was amazing. Lake trout fishing, Clayton got a monster. You gotta check that out. Most That was the most impressive fish of the trip. Um, what do you wanna add? Jay's leaving. I'm not done yet though. He's gonna take my hole. I'm sticking out <laughs> till till the sun is below the trees. I'm sticking her out, so you still should probably go to my channel. If Subscribe. You like, if you like fishing. If you like big fish. Yeah, I, I catch some big fish here and there. Clayton doesn't make videos without fish, I do. So if you want guaranteed fish, check out his <laughs> channel. <laughs> now I can't put out videos without now fish. Now you can't. Thanks. Amazing time at Baker's Narrows Lodge. Uh, so much variety as you've seen. Northern Manitoba, you gotta check it out. Ice fishing season here is open till the end of April, so there's still time. Thanks for watching. And yeah, stay classy or something. Get outside? No. Oh yeah, get outside. Oh, and huge shout out to these two people right here. Say hi guys! That's Brittany and Joe. They took us by fishing today. Could not have happened without them. So, that's that. That's a wrap. We're done. <laughs>